Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Black Mirror. Now this is a horror adventure style game in the vein of a Sherlock Holmes story. It, it seems to remind me very much of Sherlock Holmes and the way that he did things. And well, basically it consists of our father leaving us a mysterious letter and requiring us to go to our old estate in Scotland in 1926 and uncovering some mysteries. And, well, you'll see what it's all about. If you'd like to check out this game any further than what I've already explained, then you can check out the link in the description. What have we here? We have a, a very, very scared looking man and he's running away from something. But what is that something you ask? Well, I actually don't know. I guess we're going to have to find out. I gotta say, I actually absolutely love the atmosphere that the light generates. You cannot hide. Oh, what we? Not, him, not the boy. you son forgive me forgive me I will let you down no longer forgive me forgive me what are you doing? <laughs> It looks like he's involved in some sort of rituals with a very bad, malevolent force of some kind. But uh, again, we are receiving a lot of, shall we say, questions and not many answers at the moment. And oh my, what is, what is that? What is that? Let us touch it. Oh, he's just like, yes, a very everyday affair. <laughs> very everyday. To walk in the path of thy commandments. Coward, you betrayed your family. You're too late! You will not get him! It'll work. It must. With great joy that I received your last letter. Know that you are missed terribly here in India. If my calculations are correct and the International Postal Service is kind, this letter will keep you company as you make the final leg of your journey to Scotland. I hesitate to say anything for fear you'll think me foolish, even hysterical. Your father made it his life's work to research his family's twisted history. This and his obsession with the occult combined to unravel his poor mind. 
John loved his family and his family home, but he hated and mistrusted them in equal measure. Son, beware of the Gordons. Blood is not always thicker than water. Your loving mother. Ah, so we have a note. And, well, I assume this is probably from our father. Family of snakes, beware, and then key. I assume maybe there's a little bit of text missing here. Maybe some sort of invisible ink or something like that. But obviously I'm thinking a little bit too paranoid, maybe. Anyway, let's turn this around a little bit and see what's going on on the other side. My boy, find the answers. Library. I can assume... There's going to be some sort of puzzle in the library that we need to solve. And I guess these symbols that, uh, well, it seems like two of the symbols seem to resemble the Roman numerals for the number four and nine, respectively. And then there are a bunch of other symbols that we don't know just yet. I suppose you should, but maybe not right now. We have arrived, sir. Welcome, Mr. Gordon. I'm Andrew Harrison. Mr. Harrison, it's good to finally meet you. From our correspondence, I expected you to be older. Ah, uh, thank you. I'll lead the way. It's quite dark already. We can continue to talk inside. arrived, my lady. David, welcome to Skahandu House. Lady Margaret, how kind of you to welcome me in person at such a late hour. If I may, I would like to know more about my father's last days. It is too late in the day for such morbid talk. You do look so very much like John, though. An impressive building. Skahandu, though. Unusual. What, what is its meaning? Unusual only if you have not bothered to study Gaelic. It means Black Mirror House. Many generations of the Gordon family have been master of this house. It is a great responsibility. Perhaps the greatest a man could bear. Angus, please show Master David to his room. Yes, ma'am. I trust you had a pleasant journey. This place is rather remote, even for Scotland. It was most pleasing, thank you. I was fortunate enough to stop off in several fascinating places on my way here. How long have you been practicing law? I came to the bar a few years ago. I'm at Chambers in Edinburgh with lawyers who have served the Gordon family for generations. I'm embarrassed to ask, but it is my job. Have you proof of who you say you are? You are David Gordon, son of the late John Gordon. Please, I quite understand. Here you are. Hmm. 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 
What a curious object. Isn't it? It belonged to my father. He posted it to me shortly before his death. I'm not at all sure what it is. Perhaps it's something else returning home where it belongs. Like its new owner. Have a good night, Master David. I shall continue my studies. Please follow me, Master David. It seems like the uh, driver slash butler is not very happy to see us, especially, well, probably Lady Margaret is also not very happy either. Your grandfather, his lordship Edward Gordon. Yes, looking very, uh, very demonstrative right there. There is no denying it. We are family. Somebody still cares. Maybe you weren't as bad as Mother believed. Grandfather Edward. Father never spoke of you, but Mother never had a kind word to say. You were the worst of the lot, she said. Yes, exactly. Oh well, okay. Let us let us move. Let us move on. Uh, let's probably not go down the darkened corridor. That's probably gonna be a bit of an error. Magnificent. That is the master's study, sir. But there'll be plenty of time to examine it in the light tomorrow. Ah, uh, are they hiding something? Every time I ever play one of these kinds of games, I'm always like, ah, oh, they're hiding uh, something. Way, There's sir. a monster in the walls, and so on and so forth. I suppose it's hard to keep things dry, what with all the rain you get here. A most amusing, Master David. We do our best, sir. None of us are as young as we used to be. Oh, apparently that was insulting. Yes, great. Good work. Good work, David. Yes. It does that sometimes, sir. Lady Gordon expects you for breakfast at eight, sir. Thank you. Lady Gordon called you Angus? Uh, pleased to meet you, Angus. Yes, sir, she did. I am Mr. McKinnon. Uh, Mr. McKinnon, yes. Um, I'd advise you not to leave the room tonight. Ticking clocks are not the worst thing you may encounter in the house at night, if you don't know your way around. Sleep well, sir. Maybe he's more of a morning person. Okay, first things first. That's David's reaction to being told that that is not the most dangerous thing in the house at night? He's, he's just like, oh, maybe he's not a morning person. Maybe maybe Angus, I mean Mr. McKinnon, is not a morning person. Yes, that that's very strange, isn't it? Yes. Maybe David is the one that we need to be... Ah, uh, no, nah, it's, probably, it's probably not. Anyway, let's, uh, let's open this up, shall we? If I can. Glad I don't have to carry you around anymore. Mr. McKinnon lifted you up with ease. Now we do have a bunch of stuff in here that we can read and analyze a little bit. Without some obscure local law that required me being here in person, I would probably never have come. <laughs> a pigeon amongst the cats. Sorry to inform you of death of John Gordon. Stop. Please return to Skahundu House. Stop. Andrew Harrison, lawyer. Stop. I should get a new passport. This one's filling up. This handsome, cheery, sober man is not the one I remember from my childhood. Hmm. Not many matches left. 
Yes, I find that a little bit strange as well, because does that picture convey the happy, cheery description that he just gave? I'm not entirely sure. But uh, yes, anyway, we have obtained some matches. So if we want to go exploring throughout the house, which is probably what he's going to want to do. My faithful friend Insomnia. I wonder if Andrew has left the library yet. Yes, I wonder if he has left the library yet. And that's exactly what the note told us about, didn't it? It said something about the library. In an old house like this one, sooner or later no drawer stays empty. Pieces of some kind of drawing. How odd. The candle is nearly gone, but it should do for a while once lit. Ah, just what I need. Now, I wonder something here. You can see right here there are some candles, yes? Well, surely we could just remove these candles and put this huge one on our candlestick and then just carry that around. But uh, I think there's some suspense to be had there. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. If you'd like to see more, then by all means let me know. Otherwise, you can check out the link in the description and that will take you to the game's store page. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.